Okay, so today we're talking about aggregate functions with MySQL. Now an aggregate function is where you're combining a bunch of rows together to get some sort of result. That's what the aggregate means. It's made up of smaller parts. You bring them all together to get a bigger thing. So this is the link. I'll put this in the description to the list of all the aggregate functions that are available for MySQL. Now, if you've been following along with the series, you already have all the data that I'm going to be using. If you haven't, if you're just starting with this one, feel free to go in and uh, download this. I'll provide the link to this uh, SQL file uh, in the description. You can download the zip, expand it, get the SQL file out of it. And then in PHP My Admin, go into your database. Inside your database, click on the Import tab. In the Import tab, you're going to be able to click on the link for Choose File. Choose the SQL file that you downloaded from GitHub and just click go that will create for you the genres movies and people tables okay so i'm going to be just using the movies table because that's where i've got the most data now using these aggregate functions would be things like i want to find what was the first movie the oldest movie or the newest movie in this list of years so what's the smallest value or the biggest value for the genre id count the number of ones that have a certain genre or count the number of ones that have a certain title. So that's what we're doing with these aggregate functions. So let's take a look at using one of those. All right, so select star from. Now we're just gonna be working with one single column. The aggregate functions, if you use an aggregate function and then you bring in other columns, it sort of changes how they work and you need an additional thing called a group by clause. I'm going to be covering that in another video that comes after this one. For right now, we're talking about just a single column. So let's do this. Let's say count and then I can put any column I want, any one column. We'll give it an alias and I'm going to call it num from movies and if I just run that let's start with just this there we go one column one row that's what I get so 28 is the total so we counted all the different movie IDs that were inside this table now I can change this to be any column whatsoever so count movie title it's going to give me the same thing. There are 28 rows. So when I go, yeah, num is still 28. That's what the aggregate does. Now, sum, that's another one. Not sum, but sum will sum the total here. So if I add together all of the year values, there we go. So if you took the value for each year and you added them all together, this is the total that I got. Not very useful, but you can imagine if you had a bunch of uh, prices or something like that, you could sum those together. There's also an average AVG. So average, if I run that, 1997.5. Okay, so 1997, that is the average year of all the movies that are inside of my table, the movies table. Okay, min. So we'll call this oldest. There we go. So the oldest movie in my database is 1977. There's a max as the newest. 2016 is the newest movie that I've got inside of that table. And so that's it. That's aggregate functions. There's that list right here of all of them. So I encourage you to go and experiment and play around with them a little bit to get uh, familiar with them. Uh, you can always give them an alias. And I highly recommend getting to the habit of always putting an alias on here. We don't have to. Like I can run this without the alias. You can see max comma year or brackets year. That is what I wrote here. But this is going to fail inside of PHP or Node or whatever the programming language it is that I'm using. What I want to do is I want to have that alias then when I run this from my code, this is going to be the name of the column that I get to use. So right here, this is the name of the column that gives me the value. Um, max from movies where you can add filters to these as well, the same as you would any SQL query. 
So let's say where genre ID equals one. Okay, so we know that the fantasy movie was a 2016 one. Uh, if I change that to genre ID equals two, 2014. Okay, so 2014 was the newest sci-fi one that we had inside of there. The oldest sci-fi should be that 1997. And the oldest fantasy movie that we had in there, 1981. So you can see, you can add the where. Uh, the order by clause isn't going to do much here because we're only getting one result back. So aggregate functions with one single column, that's what this one is all about. If you want to start adding in additional columns, so let's say genre ID. There it is. Oh, we only have, sorry, we only had the one genre ID, so let's remove that. There we go. This is the failure that I was referring to. We need to have a group by. So when you add in additional columns with an aggregate function, you need to add this group by clause. So that's going to be the subject of our next video. If you have any questions about this one, please feel free to leave them in the comments. Again, I will leave the links to the uh, documentation and the link to the SQL file that you can download in the description. And as always, thanks for watching.